A day after incriminating accusations were made, many in the Capitol are not only questioning the nature of Bentley and Mason's relationship, but they're also wondering if Bentley may have broken the law. News 5's Peter Albrecht takes a closer look from Montgomery. Well, we don't know if there will be a state investigation into Governor Bentley's action, but it appears that a federal investigation is already underway. Governor Bentley's denial yesterday of a physical relationship with his top political aide seems to have convinced few and may have done him more harm than good. I mean, it was such a seemingly disingenuous moment. I mean, how do you say the things you said, he said on the phone to Miss Mason, and then turn around and say that that's not physical. Bill Britt knows the ins and outs of Alabama politics like few others. He runs the Alabama Reporter website and hosts a political TV talk show in Montgomery. He says while the governor's alleged affair is titillating and entertaining, the real issue for reporters and law enforcement is quickly becoming whether Robert Bentley broke any laws. If there are laws that have been broken, laws of the state of Alabama, Law, federal laws, any laws that have been broken, that's where my concern lies. Britt has already reported that there is a federal investigation into Bentley's office. The governor's press secretary told News 5 today that they, quote, have no information about any investigation. Attorney General Luther Strange was laying low today, eventually releasing a statement that did not address any state investigation. He did say, quote, my office has a strong record of probing illegal activity in the state, and we will continue to do our job. Britt says there will be no shortage of people who are at one time close to Governor Bentley willing to cooperate with investigators. We are hearing from staff members, current and former staff members that are saying we want to go before a grand jury. We know these things too and Spencer had the courage to say something about it. Spencer Collier, the former ALEA director, said yesterday not only did Governor Bentley have an affair but more important legally, the governor told him to lie to investigators looking into House Speaker Mike Hubbard. We also learned in Montgomery today from several sources that another recording exists of the governor talking to Rebecca Mason, and the word is that that recording is just as explosive as the one we heard yesterday. Reporting in Montgomery, Peter Albrecht, News 5.